that bass line. Name that bass line. Name the bass line. Name that bass line. Name that bass line because Fluffy knows where I live. Shalom, fans of the Big Bottom. Spring is in the air, and after 17 long years, trillions of horny cicadas are ready to get laid. All of which means it's time once again to play YouTube's only musical comedy game show, Name That Baseline. I'm your host, and no, I am not a pawn in a complicated plot to overthrow Lyle Lovett. In just a few moments, you'll hear a brand new batch of iconic baselines performed by our all-star cast of YouTube players. Will Lee is back with a Fab Four baseline. Plus, we've also got another super top secret celebrity guest bassist. So don't go anywhere. First, some exciting news to share. Were you aware that when a game show is successful here in America, the rights are often sold to other countries where they produce their own versions, translated into hundreds of different languages? For example, there's a French version of Jeopardy called Le Danger, and a German Wheel of Fortune called Glücksrad. Well, I'm happy to announce that Name That Baseline is now being broadcast in markets all over the globe. I'm told it's already very popular in North Korea and Chechnya. Last week, the Spanish version, Nombra Esa Linea de Gatara Baja, premiered on the Telecinco network in Madrid, hosted by a local disc jockey named Esponjoso Wagaldez. Let's take a look at a clip. Hola, y bienvenidos a Nombra Esa Linea de Guitarra Baja. Soy su anfitrión, y no, no soy un experimento de manipulación genética entre Don King y Kramer, que no anda bien. Seguimos al juego. Aquí está Taylor Fuentes con su primer línea de guitarra baja. Nombra esa línea de bajos. It really doesn't lose much in the translation. Okay, before my hair grows out of frame, let's play Name That Bass Line. If you don't know how the game works, you're going to hear pieces of 10 signature bass lines from 10 different artists. See if you can guess what they are. If you're really stumped, we'll have some clues along the way. And as always, the answers are at the end of the show, along with the names of the bassists who played on the original recordings. Great, let's play. We have so many bassists for you today that I'm going to take the day off and hand the reins right over to our able-bodied roster of YouTube friends. First up is our guest bassist of the month. She's got an immensely popular channel out of Hong Kong called Depp Was Who, with over 9,000 subscribers and an eclectic bunch of videos that have been viewed over a million and a half times. Her bass line comes from the bluesy 2005 side project of a very popular singer and guitarist. It's one of my favorite albums of the last 10 years. With bass line number one, here's Jasmine Wong. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Next up is our Canadian friend, Adam Stevens. Although this song was just released last October, the groove is an admitted throwback to 80s supergroup The Police. Here's Adam with bass line number two. Name that baseline. Great stuff, Adam. Please take a moment and check out his awesome YouTube channel, Adam Stevens Bass. He's also got his own solo album coming out very soon. More details on that in our next episode. Time to swing over to Germany, where Lewis Miller is standing at the ready with baseline number three. This one comes from a Grammy award-winning album released on my birthday back in 2001. It's a little jazz fusion ditty from one of the bass world's most talented sidemen. Take it away, Lou. Name that baseline. 
Ah, so funky fresh, I can almost smell it. Or maybe the studio ferret went no-no again somewhere. In any case, let's move on. We haven't done this since last season, but once again, we've got a Fab Four baseline on tap. And who better to play it for us than Fab Faux bassist and McCartney expert Will Lee. Here he is with one of the Beatles' biggest hits from 1963. It's the Fab Four baseline of the month. Hey! Name that bass line. Thanks again, Will. Be on the lookout for Will's second solo album, Love, Gratitude, and Other Distractions, which gets a July release in Japan, followed by the United States in August and Europe in September. Of course, you can also see Will every night on The Late Show with David Letterman. Great. Next, we're going over to the UK for another bass line from Paul Wolf, creator of the very popular HowToPlayBass.com videos. Today he's got a song from 1977 with a very recognizable bass line that was later used as the theme to a BBC show called Grand Prix. Here's Paul with bass line number five. Name that bass line. Thank you, Paul. I have to pause for a moment here because there's something I need to address. I've been giving private bass lessons at home in my spare time just to earn a little extra cash. Most of my students are great. However, recently, one of them suddenly had a problem with some of my teaching methods. He confronted me about it right in the middle of a lesson, and things got a little heated. Unbeknownst to me, he was filming the entire argument. He actually had the nerve to put it up on YouTube where it went viral. You know, they say there's no such thing as bad publicity, but I'm concerned that this is potentially damaging to my teaching career. I probably shouldn't show you this, but I just want you to see how out of line this kid was. I'm tired of hearing this freaking guy go off on me because I don't get this crap. Goodbye. If you could just get up and teach me Bye. instead of handing me a freaking tab, yo. Bye. I don't learn like that. I need to learn face to face. You're just getting mad because I'm pointing out the obvious. No, because you're wasting my time. I am not wasting your time. I'm telling you what you need to do. You want kids to come to your bass lessons? You want them to get excited for this? Mm -hmm. You gotta come in here and you gotta make them excited. Get you out. want a kid to play finger style instead of using a pick? You gotta touch his freaking heart. Get out. Can't expect a kid to change if all you do is just tell him. You right. gotta take this job serious. Yeah. I am not bitching. I am simply making an observation. Will you please and now me? I will leave. You're welcome. Because since I've got here, I've done nothing but play scales. Okay. I want to play songs, man. And okay. if you would like, I'll teach you a little more. So you can no. learn how to teach a freaking bass lesson. No, no, no. So don't try and take credibility for teaching me, Jack. Go. Just go. Needless to say, that student is no longer a client. He's got no right. Kid's got no right to speak to me like that. I assure you, his accusations are 100% false. My bass lessons are some of the finest this side of the Mississippi. So call me. Let's get back to name that bass line, shall we? Our next player is from Bristol in the UK. She enjoys horses, whiskey, and of course, bass guitar. It's Alicia Moore, better known as Music Alicia on YouTube. And today she's going old school R&B with this one from the King of Pop. Here's bass line number six. <laughs> Baseline. Funktastic, Alicia. She'll be back next time with more awesome grooves for us. Let's introduce today's very special guest bassist. This man is a huge personal hero of mine, so I am super excited he agreed to be on the show. He's played on countless great albums and toured the world many times over with artists such as Joe Jackson, Natalie Merchant, John Bon Jovi, Joan Baez, Marshall Crenshaw, They Might Be Giants, and many more. Let's give a huge Name That Baseline welcome to Graham Maybe with baseline number seven. Name That Baseline. 
Enormous thanks to Graham for being part of today's show, and hopefully I can badger him into coming back again soon. As always, closing out the show is our trio of bass funder Kinter, Troy Hughes, David Caraccio, and Thomas Rizell. Batting first is shortstop Troy Hughes. Troy is the spokesman for Delirium Fretlicilius, a fictional disease he made up in order to fund his latex mask fetish. For those of you that don't know, Troy has uploaded over a hundred flawless Rush bass covers. They're all available for free right on his YouTube channel, TJH3113. And speaking of Rush, Troy is playing a song that Rush Limbaugh used without permission as the opening theme to his TV show, at least until the record label issued a cease and desist. Here's Troy with bass line number eight. that baseline. Well done, Troy. I wonder if Rush Limbaugh is a Rush fan. In the number nine spot, we're happy to welcome back David Caraccio, aka David Sin Rocks on YouTube. Keep an ear out for Human Buzz, the brand new album from his band Deep Kick, which will be available this fall. You can also get the first two singles on May 31st. Once again, he's laying down some serious classic 70s funk. Here's David with baseline number nine. <laughs> Baseline. Awesome job, David. Wrapping up today's bass challenge is the four string king from Copenhagen, Denmark, Thomas Marlow DK Rizel. This classic from 1979 has a funky earth, wind, and fire vibe to it. Here's Thomas with bass line number 10. <laughs> Very nice, Thomas, and that's going to wrap up this episode. My sincere thanks to Jesse Ortigas, Taylor Fuentes, Will Lee, Graham Maybe, and all our regular guest bassists. Please take a moment and subscribe to their channels. You can find all the links right on my channel page. We'll be back in July with an all-new episode, unless Chris Christie pops his lap band and explodes all over everything. In the meantime, be sure and subscribe to my channel to stay in the loop on when new videos are posted. And also, please stop by and like our Facebook page for access to exclusive unaired video clips, as well as details on how you can become a part of our upcoming Viewer Baseline show. And of course, stay tuned if you want the answers to today's baselines. Till next time, hold down the bottom for me.